What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name's Cody, I go by Seek Open Air on Instagram and YouTube, of course, because you're watching it here. Uh, today, I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do a cowl intake reroute for the third gen Tacoma. So, I'll get into that, but if you're new here, consider subscribing and uh, click a like video. So the cowl intake is a very straightforward mod. Uh, if you didn't know, that's your cowl. Every vehicle has one. These uh, types of modifications are very common in uh, the off-roading industry. Um, and what it does is it reroutes where you're getting your air from for your, obviously your filter. Because Tacoma's, just by factory, you get it in the wheel well. And for those of you that want to trim your fenders, um, remove your wheel well liner, uh, if you want to do water crossings, Having it in the wheel well is not a good place to have the air intake. Uh, you can get water in it, you can get dust in it. So obviously the, the biggest solution to this problem is just get a snorkel. But snorkels, in my opinion, aren't the prettiest, uh, at least the ones that are currently available for the third gen. Um, I know a lot of people run them and they have their perks. I just don't love the look of them. So. I was looking through other options and you can get different aftermarket cold air intakes, um, but I wanted to keep the stock box. So I looked for other options. Ultimately, I ended up in a second gen Threadout Tacoma world where, by the way, this is a super popular option for second gen because the intake box is actually like right here pretty much. So you can just add some piping and go into the cowl. However, in the third gens, it's a little different. And at the time that I was looking, no one had done this that I could find. However, about a month ago, actually a couple months ago now, uh, someone posted a thread on Tacoma World. His name is Zebra Scissors. I'm gonna link it down in the description because all credit to him. Uh, he was, that I know of, one of the first people to do this. And I'm just following in, in his steps. Um, but he, he did it. He went from the stock airbox back to the cow and it's pretty straightforward there's one thing i need to address and by that i mean uh, you're going to need to look at whether you have an sr5 trd sport limited trd off-road or trd pro because uh, us sr5 trd sports and limited folk have a module that gets in the way so if you actually go look at the thread that i have linked down below zebra scissors here's a trd off-road um, and his solution is very straightforward. Just some three inch aluminum tubing, some uh, flex couplers, and he just went pretty much from the airbox right back to the cow. However, see that? TRD off-roads don't have that in this location. Uh, us SR5, TRD Sport Limited, this is our ABS module and it gets in the way for us to do that. So we had to get a little bit creative. And by get a little creative, I mean, we're just gonna use flex couplers instead of solid aluminum three inch tubing. Uh, that way we can position this in a different spot and kind of bend it around the ABS module. So all of this stuff that you can get at AutoZone or just on the Amazon, uh, I'll link to everything that I have here down below, but three inch tubing comes with these couplers. And then you're gonna need some three inch air intake mounts. So I have two of these, one for the air intake box and then one for the cow. Uh, not shown, I don't have it here yet, but you're gonna need some silicone and a cock gun, as well as some of these guys. So here's a little bit of a visual for those that need, need it before we get into things. Again, three inch, this is flexible. As much as I need it, I'm gonna trim it, whatever I need. Uh, but what we're gonna do is essentially come right, right here like this. It'll bend around the ABS module and then it's gonna come down to the bottom of our air intake box. The, wherever you're doing this, you wanna make sure it's below the air intake filter, uh, obviously, not helpful at all to have it come in above because then your filter's not filtering. So get the spot 
or get it where you want and then we're gonna mock up some stuff and ultimately get to cutting. All right, so actually a little bit of change of plans. Uh, originally I showed you the bendable tubing, uh, which I'm still gonna use, but I was able to move this ABS module just a little bit. So if you look here, you can see with some light, there are uh, three 12 millimeter nuts holding this down right here. And then or two up front, one behind. Don't expect you guys to see that too well, but uh, I basically just shifted this up moved it over careful not to pinch your abs lines and then i'm just going to secure it using this bolt in the front and then a bolt in the rear so that'll allow me to run the piping from uh directly underneath the air intake back to the cowl that's exactly what uh, zebra scissors did in his thread uh, since he didn't have the abs module so uh, this should work which is nice. Okay, got the hole drilled. I wasn't able to really capture it because it was a pain. I had to have my dad come help me, but the three inch hole is drilled. So just your basic three inch hole saw. Um, drill your pilot hole, right? Find where you want it. And then uh, ultimately, That's kind of ballpark where I put it. Um, and then, but the, the biggest issue and why it took me so long is because of this stinking ABS module. So I couldn't get the drill in there at a good angle. So in the first clip where you saw this, I had it pushed all the way that way. And now to drill the hole, you're gonna have to pull it all the way towards the fender to get the drill in there all the way and get it level and on a plane that you can drill that hole. So I messed around with that a little bit. Just be super careful. Don't bend your ABS lines and all that good stuff, but the hole is drilled and the uh, mounting plate is in there. So now I'm just gonna go grab the black silicone and uh, put it on both sides inside out and uh, go from there. All right guys, so the next part of this install is really straightforward. Uh, we need to cut the hole in the bottom of the air box. So to do so, take your drill, take your impact, and there are three 12 millimeter bolts holding in the bottom of that box. Uh, you can go as far as taking the top off and the intake hose, uh, but I, as you see here, I just chose to, to leave it on. and. There is a little coupler that runs into the fender, uh, but once you slide that out, you can get the bottom out. Next is actually drilling that hole into the box. So just like we did in the firewall, or the cowl I should say, uh, you want to make sure you know where you're drilling. So go ahead and hold up that plate. And there's actually, a, there's a big spot, uh, I guess in the front of the box. and. Um, it fits just perfectly there, like three inch hole, uh, you can't get much better fitment. You will have to take a some sort of oscillating saw or whatever you have Dremel and cut down the fins on the inside. That way the plate can sit flush. But once you have it all marked out, go ahead and grab that same three inch hole saw and uh, well, cut into your box. The next part is actually siliconing this whole thing. So you wanna make sure you silicone inside out, that way water, air, whatever, cannot get in um, to the air box. So I just used some clear silicone that I had laying in the cabinet. Uh, originally I was gonna use black, but it didn't have black, so clear is the next best. Just like we took the air box out, Gotta put it right back in, grab your three 12 millimeter bolts and your impact or your wrench and snug them down. You will see that I did leave the coupler that runs into the fender. Um, this is where the 
Tacoma by factory pulls in air from, which right, the whole purpose of this mod is to cover that up and I will be doing that in the future. Um, I just left it in because I haven't cut my, or I haven't trimmed my fenders yet. Uh, so I still have my wheel well liners, so I'm not worried about it. Once you have it snugged in there, go ahead and put the filter back in and uh, clamp it down and you're good to go. All right, and with that, the very last step, very simple, just connect your hose and get your uh, four hose clamps, two on each side, uh, the one, two on the cowl and then two on the airbox and you're good to go. All right guys, just like that, the cow intake is done. Thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far. Uh, I wanna hear your guys' thoughts and if you definitely do this mod, I wanna hear about it. So A, go check out the thread, go post your pictures, go ask questions. All credit to Zebra Scissors. He was the one that, uh, like I said, I first saw it do this. Uh, I just followed in his steps and made some changes here and there. So. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you want to get updates on how this is doing as far as like MPGs. Um, it's rumored, mythed to increase it by a little bit. Um, and I'm also going to report there on the noise that I hear in the cabin because that's another complaint about a cow intake. So thank you guys. Like the video, share it with your friends. And if you don't want to snorkel, then do the cow intake. <laughs>